hello y'all yes 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 i am back again today you're like whoa crystal's getting consistent oh yeah we're trying we're trying we're recording a bunch of videos you're gonna see me in the same hoodie over and over so you know i'm thinking i'm trying to find ways to mix this up because i'm a fragrance lover okay however everybody in this panorama is not necessarily out here trying to buy all these niche scents okay niche scents are niche dollars and i gotta give y'all ladies and gentlemen time to set, stack up your coins okay because i know i got a long list of niche i'm trying to do but we just have to stack the coins okay so in the meantime in between time i'm going to show you my top designer perfumes designer perfumes are usually by a design house that also can make clothing shoes accessories housewares whatnot a designer think Calvin Klein YSL think a brand a branding that you know and love and you can wear their clothes as well as their perfume so I'm gonna go over my top five okay I still have designer goods up in here and I'm gonna give you some great suggestions if that's something that interests you please continue watching so my first is Guerlain okay Guerlain has to be my second favorite house they have designer as well as they have a private line this is the regular designer but she plays no games okay this is Guerlain Mongolon please don't don't bat up my French okay my French is not it but I'm trying okay this is Mongolon Intense so there is a regular version this is the intense because crystals extra so we gotta get intense. We wanna be intense with everything. This is lavender, mandarin, um, Tahitian vanilla, there's some Madagascar vanilla, iris, rose, sandalwood, patchouli, there's some musk. This is a wool man. Okay not doing too much but there's something very comforting about it i think it's because the top notes are lavender i think there's something about it lavender has like a very calming comforting effect so this is beautiful this performs first of all especially well i've only worn it in the winter because i've got it recently um but it performs okay it performs she cuts through your sweaters your sweatshirts your sweatpants your thick jeans all of that she is that she is bomb she is beautiful she's been on my list for so long and i just copped her recently and she's nice she's beautiful so longevity great eight hours plus easily i over spray her so i get more okay um projection beautiful i could smell it lingering around places if i put it on like a scarf or a sweater i didn't wash yet or anything like that i smell it lingering it's nice it's beautiful it's elegant and it's classy okay my second pick is black opium by ysl now I love this. I like this. This is what I wear when I don't know what I want to wear. When I can't pick up a vibe, because yes, when I get dressed, when I'm going to work, when I'm going wherever, I have a vibe. The vibe I'm trying to set for myself. This is what I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. But it's it's pretty. It's good. I don't want to call it basic, because then that would be sort of taking away from it. But it is low-key a little basic. It's nothing complex. But it's good. Okay? This is pear. Um, pink pepper there's some orange blossom uh, jasmine there's a strong note of coffee patchouli vanilla a little licorice it definitely projects the longevity is really good about eight hours or so plus it's not gonna change as the day goes by and then maybe that's the part where I say mm, it leans a little basic However, it's good. It's good. Like, people will still say you smell good. It makes you still feel confident. It's nice. And it's my go-to and I'm just not sure what to do, but I know I want to smell fresh. 
I want to smell good. I want to smell sweet. I don't want to stank. So this is YSL's Black Opium. There's also tons of flankers for this Black Opium. All right. YSL's Manifesto. This is Black Current, Bergamot, Lily of the Valley, some sandalwood, Tonka, vanilla. Elegance. Elegant, classy, sophisticated. You got it together. That's what I get when I'm wearing this. I wear this in predominantly the spring, summer. However, it still performs in the winter time. It doesn't necessarily cut through everything, but you could wear it like on a milder winter day. Um, but it's elegant. It's classy. It's just there's something about it. I would think, oh, that girl has her life together. That girl's running shit. Like when she has this on, she's sure. She's got savings. She's got credit. That's what I think about when I think about this scent. You're together. It's nice. It's beautiful. Something you could definitely wear in the office, not offensive. Something you can wear in close quarters. Guys will love it. It's an all-around functioning fragrance. Good for work, date, play, all of that. Manifesto by YSL. Another good one. I've been pleasantly surprised and happy about this one. This is Kaali's Vanilla 28. Not only do I love the bottle, that has much fingerprints on it but it's vanilla orchid there's jasmine brown sugar there's amber and there's definitely a musky note now typically i do mix this scent with other scents i've only probably ever worn it by itself once or twice on a standalone basis but it's it's nice it's beautiful you smell good you smell sweet you smell girly it's beautiful it's nice don't go too hard. If you go too hard, you're going to rot off somebody's teeth, including your own. But it is nice. It definitely lasts long on the body. I would say about eight hours, a little more than that. When mixed with other fragrances that have a base note of vanilla, it's beautiful. It, it adds that zhuzh, that punch. It's nice. This is beautiful. I want to start getting a little more into the Kiali brand, actually. There's a couple on my list. I'm going to get my coins up. But this is pretty. This is you, I don't see anyone not liking this because I feel like it's just a likable fragrance. If you want to smell sweet and like vanilla and sugar, Kayali, what are you doing? Last but not least, if you're watching a video, it's going to include Mugler. I'm just telling you this right now because Mugler is bae and that's that on that. Mugler Alien. This is Simple Breakdown of Jasmine woody notes and amber but it's unique it's different i don't care if it's hyped up on youtube and hyped up in the frag world it's still different it's still unique i always get compliments on this it is sexy it's provocative it's not the girl next door it's that girl you want to get to know because she intrigues you that's what that is that's that girl you're like hmm, something about her that's what Alien is. Beautiful, beast, long lasting. I could get easily 12 hours on this. You can't over spray it because you're going to choke out people. So don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. But it's lovely. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite Mugler scents to date. Other than another one I always mention, Absolute. But this is absolutely stunning. All right. So, I've gone over my top five designer fragrances. Definitely, as you know, I want to pre and be nosy. What are your top five fragrances? Or one, or two, or three, whatever you guys want to let out the bag and share with us. We gotta be smelling good. Panorama or not, we need to be smelling good. I want to know what you're wearing. What's one of your favorites at least? List that down below. Please rate and subscribe to my channels. Rating is giving that thumbs up to let me know. Crystal, like what you're talking about. We wanna see more, that's what that does. Subscribe so that you know when I'm gonna be doing a new video and you can catch me while I'm on this consistent train. While we're gonna continue as we're doing 2021. 
and let me know if any other ideas like what else do you want to see like don't sleep I, I put it out here I'm feeling it so let me know what else you want to see thank you once again for watching my video I hope that you have a good day and definitely go ahead and stay safe as well thank you bye